Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Boy, do I have something special for you today. Here it is, this is a brand new 2024 Bentley Continental GT Speed in light blue. This has got a six liter twin turbo W12 engine, beautiful leather interior with exquisite stitching, plus all wheel drive to get all this horsepower down to the ground. So we're gonna take a look at this super high end Grand Tourer and see if this is the one that you should get over the competition if you're in this price bracket. So let's dig in. Front end of this Bentley Continental GT Speed. Again, the light blue. Let me know what you feel about the color. You got that Bentley wire mesh grill, which is very recognizable in the automotive world. We got functionality in the grill, top and bottom as well as side air curtains, LED lighting all the way around with jewel inserts. So as we move on in, take a look at that Bentley badge. Such quality in that badge. Here's our headlights. Look at how beautiful they are with the jewel insert in the headlight housing. Looking beautiful. As we come around to our wheel and tire setup, when you go Continental GT Speed, you're going big time. Aluminum alloy wheel, Painted silver, Bentley logo on the center cap, massive brakes, massive rotors to stop this very heavy vehicle. Painted in red with the Bentley logo or name on the caliper. Now, wheel and tire choice, I'm not so sure about. You let me know what you think. We got Pirelli P0 summer tires. Up front, 275 on the width and a 35 series sidewall. Out back, we're going to go 315 on the width with a 30 series sidewall, 22s, and this is all wheel drive. Moving on out, here is the look at our side profile. I love the Continental GT side profile. I think I like this better than the convertible. Let me know what you guys think. As we move on in closer, you got the Speed logo right there on the front fender, and then the 12 down below looking good now we're going to go color matte side view mirror led turn signals 360 degree view cameras then we're going to go with a color match door handle with light gray on top instead of chrome which goes in with our window trim surrounds all the way around really smart the way they designed that look at this fender flare with that rear haunch looking awesome here in the back now as we go up top we're going to have a completely glass roof all the way around with color match here on the front and, and the back part of the glass roof. Let me know if you think that should have been black. I don't know. I think I could live with this, but let me know what you guys think. The rear end of our Continental GT, we do have that deck lid kick up. No spoiler on the trunk. Bentley badge in the middle. Bentley spelled out underneath that. Then you got the oval LED ta tail lights and turn signals. And then your dual exhaust kind of matches the taillight shape. So let me know what you think about that. But we also, around the body of the car, we also have that trim, that gray trim or smoked chrome trim that you see around the windows that goes all the way around the back end of the car as well. So really well done as far as design. But since we got the W12, which isn't lasting much longer, Let's hear how this baby sounds. We're under the hood of this 24 Bentley Continental GT Speed. And look at this beautiful engine. This is Bentley's six liter twin turbocharged W12 engine made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. 650 horsepower, 664 pound-feet of torque. MPGs, 12 in the city, 21 on the highway, 15 combined. The strut bracing is unbelievable. It just is a gorgeous engine. And if you're wondering what kind of fuel, it's a Bentley. We're going 93 octane super unleaded on this fuel. Beautiful. Before we get into the interior on this super grand tour, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much? Well, only 
the precious few can afford this beautiful Bentley. So let's take a look at the pricing. Now, base price for the 24 Continental GT Speed is $300,000. Once we add in a bunch of options, plus the $2,100 gas guzzler tax, plus destination and delivery of $3,150 from Bentley's Crew England Assembly Plant, we have a total MSRP from the factory of $351,175. So let's check out the interior. Starting with a driver's side door panel, look at this. Leather stitching, light blue to match the exterior all the way around. We do have piano gloss black plastic up here, but it's not on a spot you can touch. Then we're going to go Alcantara underneath that with stitching, diamond patterned leather with the light blue from the exterior of the car stitched into the insert, chrome on your switch gear and on the door handle. Now, here's our side view mirrors. Of course, this is a Bentley. So here's the power fold mirrors going, and then they'll go back out. Perfect. You would expect that, and the car's a lot less expensive than this, but definitely in one of these. Look at this action. Look at how beautiful. This is all leather. Most car makers, this is plastic. It's all leather, stitched, light blue, black. On the inside here, leather, stitched, beautiful. On the inside of the door pocket, two memory seat settings. That's where you pop your trunk. And here's one of the speakers on this name for Bentley audio system. High-end audio system, over $9,000 in cost to have it installed. Unbelievable. Now we're looking at our door sill. Now this plastic is still on. The blue plastic still on. The dealer asked me to leave that on. We have the Bentley illuminated door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. This is all going to be in aluminum. And then the speed up top to let you know you went big time in a Continental. Power seats, we got power every which way from Sunday, including the thigh support, which is one of my favorite features. On a long drive, you want that to come out to kind of relax your legs. These buttons here are going to make the bolstering more firm or loosen it up. Right now, I have it set just for me, and it feels so good. Seat bottom, seat back, separate headrest controls. And then here, we got massage action right here. Stick that baby on, and then we got big time action going on on the massage. And we'll show you that when we go through the digital uh, infotainment screen. But awesome action. Here, look at this. Leather, more light blue leather, stitching, the quilted design. Again, the diamond stitch with the light blue, speed on the headrest, Alcantara inserts, just stunning on the fit and finish. Passenger door panel, same as the driver with the memory seat settings and all the power controls plus massage as well. Again, we're going to go gloss black plastic in here into the speed emblem and then your Bentley uh, heat and air vents with the plunger to open and close. Leather stitching, more leather, Alcantara down here and then a nice large glove box. Infotainment system, fully integrated 12 inch Bentley infotainment system, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, of course. We have all sorts of action, but we have different panels. And each one of these panels has a separate widget that you can swipe across to see what you want to see as you're going down the road. So we got that one. Now we can do the middle. And we can have our nav up or something else, maybe our geographic location, and then on this side you got your music that you can have up. So three different panels, three different functions. Our navigation obviously right here. Touch screen action, nice pinch to zoom, no problem. We got our media controls as well, Sirius XM, regular FM and all that other jazz. Phone, pair to phone, car controls, head up display, night vision, Raise and lower your suspension, blind spot assist, Bentley safeguard right there, which is your pre-collision. And then you got your climate all looking beautiful. And then you got your apps, weather, fuel, news, legal info, 
all that is in here. Let's put this baby into reverse and check out our backup camera. Look at that. Beautiful backup camera, nice and clear, 360 degree view. You have different views you can you can you can use there's the rear now we got the trajectory lines up and how far in front of you something is slide or behind you panorama front panorama rear so they got you all set and it's beautiful and it's responsive and it takes up the whole screen so now we'll go back to park and we got it all set and we're ready to go turn that baby off and we're back to the beginning now if i turn on those massaging seats There we go. I found the button. Turn on the massaging seats. There you go. You got wave, pulse, stretch, lumbar, shoulder, or off. And you can have it any way you want. And that's going to go for both front passengers. So again, another nice, nice one there. So there you have that. Down below, hard controls for your media and your volume and your tuning. Bentley clock. Look how beautiful that looks. Heat and air vents. Again, piano gloss, black plastic. Be careful. Same with here. Here are the dials. They feel so good to adjust your temperature. Right now it's set in Celsius, but you can convert that to Fahrenheit. Three stage of how you want your air to come out. Fan speed, three stage heated seats, three stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Sync everything together. Electric emergency brake, four way hazards, traction control off on this side. Pop the trunk, close the trunk, and then you have your engine auto stop start on off, parking assist, cameras, push button start, two cup holders. What? Oh, look at all this. Look at the Bentley key fob. This thing weighs like five pounds. It's so heavy. <laughs> lock, unlock, lock, pop the trunk, panic button. Look how beautiful that looks. Bentley. Oh, and then. Look at that leather with the stitching. And then you just lift it up. More area for storage. Wireless charging pad right in there. And a 12 volt and USB action with an aux jack. So they got you covered like a big dog. Bentley steering wheel. Leather. Light blue stitching. Light blue here, round bottom, no problem getting in or out. It's a nice large passenger cabin, even though I'm lower to the ground. Bentley with the chrome strip on the horn button, looking beautiful, looks wonderful. We have over here, we got our views. We have our heated steering wheel right here, telephone voice commands. We can go ahead and change up our digital dash from here. Looks gorgeous. Real metal paddles, magnesium, I believe, to go up and down. This eight-speed automatic on the left here, you're going to go with your turn signals, high beams, and that sort of thing. And then on the right, you're going to go with your windshield wipers. And then over here on the left, you're going to headlight controls, fog lamp controls. That's that is it's raining out. Leave my headlights on. I love that action. <laughs> and then you have your cruise down here on a separate stock, and then underneath the steering wheel, we have a tilting and telescoping wheel that is electric. There we go. So beautifully done. Digital dash looking beautiful. Oh, it's so clear. And you know what? It's easy to use. But let's check our drive modes out first. So drive mode action, believe it or not, is the dial on your push button start. Right now we're in comfort, as you can see. We're going to show it up here. We're going to switch to our left. And we're going to go to the Bentley mode. And then we're going to go to sport. And then we can come all the way back around and go to our custom mode where we can set the vehicle up the way we would like. So that's the way we're going to do it. And for the drive today, we're obviously going to leave it in sport. And then, of course, as you can see up here, lane keep assist. That's the raise and lower the suspension. 
That's your adaptive cruise. So they got a lot of stuff built in here as well. Back to the dash, looking beautiful. Now, if you want more information, you can just toggle through the different menus in the center, and that looks good. And once you get on into something, you can move down and see what else you can see have up when you're going down the road. Nice and simple, super clear. Overhead console in chrome, aluminum, and flat black. So what do we got? Garage door programmables right up top. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. You want your LED dome lighting to come on and off and you want to close the door. This button pushed in with the orange light on. Open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, and the chimes go off. Lighting will dim out nice and easy. Here are the controls for your glass roof. So open the shade, boom, you hit the button, and your Alcantara headliner, which looks gorgeous, and the Alcantara shade goes back all the way over your rear seat passengers, if you have anybody that can fit, but the glass does not go up. And then you can go ahead and close it, but there is no sun roof. It's just a glass roof with the shade. So there you have that. My, I might rather have a sunroof. Let me know what you think. But now we have a leather, of course, beautiful sun visor with vanity and an LED light. And does it slide? No, it doesn't. And there's no extension. That's odd. Rear view mirror, standard frameless rear view mirror. No other action other than that except auto dimming. But I might have liked to seen a digital rear view mirror in a car of this class and uh, fit and finish. Let me know what you think. If you do want to get in the back seat of your Bentley, here is the control right here. You just push it and the seat will automatically move forward for you so you can get in. So we're going to do the attempt on getting in. And I'm not closing the seat down because it might squish my tootsies. So we're going to sit back here and oh, it's just beautiful. Look at this back seats. Same leather, speed, diamond quilted, Alcantara, just gorgeous center armrest, two cup holders, and then open these up. Look at that, USBs and a 12 volt for both rear seat passengers. Look at that. But as you can see, with the seat back, <laughs> there's no leg room. And I don't think there'd be any leg room in here for me. But as far as headroom and shoulder width room, I'm fine. But man, does it feel good back here. I just wish we had a little bit more leg room. So I could close this chair without breaking my t my feet. Nice job in the back, though. What fit and finish in this in this Bentley? It's unbelievable. Getting in the trunk of your beautiful light blue Bentley, you can pop it from the driver door panel. You can pop it from your key fob, or you come to the back. And the secret button is the Bentley badge. You just push it in, and boom! Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button. Nice wide opening. 12.6 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of your Bentley Continental GT Speed trunk. Look at these beautiful floor mats with the piping in light blue to match the color of the vehicle. Looking good. Those are some accessories and doodads you get when you buy a Bentley. We got a 12 volt back here in case you need some power in the back. And underneath here, there you go. Battery, fix a flat, no spare. That's a bummer. But not the greatest trunk in the world, but it's on par with these Super Grand Tours, and you got enough room in there for some overnight bags, and if you need more and there's nobody in the back seats, and most time there won't be, you can put your extra gear there. You ready for this? Window sticker time on the windshield, so I'll do my best. 24 model here, Connell GT Speed. Manufacturer suggests a price 300000 then comes all the options. Whoa, baby. Our descriptions of what everything is in here. MPGs. That's why you got the gas guzzler tax. Made in England. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we are driving down the road in this 24 Bentley. Continental GT Speed. That's a lot of mouthful, but this is a lot of car. Twin turbocharged W12, which Bentley is going to sunset soon here, sooner than later, I have a feeling, uh, because it's a gas guzzler. 
uh, and you're paying a gas guzzler tax when you buy this thing so uh, but it's powerful it's unbelievably powerful on a very heavy car but great visibility out the windshield side glass side view mirror rear view mirror no problem at all blind spot monitoring cross traffic alert lane keep assist all that jazz is in this w12 bentley steering unbelievably sharp steering here in this vehicle no doubt down the road it is very very well done as far as your sound deadening goes no problem at all there a dream automatic transmissions shifts smooth as glass as it should be in a car at this price point 350 plus thousand dollars worth of Bentley right here and it just takes off you barely have to push the pedal down in this vehicle takes off with this twin turbo w12 you got all the power and then some in this vehicle hands down now the turning radius is going to be pretty wide because we got these big fat tires but i love the fact that we got all wheel drive to put the pedal down put the power down we'll zoom it around here we go shifting at 3500 rpm and it's flying down the road if you redline this thing at 6500 it melt your face it's so fast so just an excellent job by Bentley tuning in this w12 it is unbelievable even though you are gonna suck premium gas like it is going out of style without a doubt it is a extremely comfortable wonderful driving Grand Tour, and it's a two plus two configuration. Even though you really can't get many real tall people in the back, you got extra room for all your gear, and you're ready to rock and roll down the road in this Bentley. Uh, beautiful interior. The tech is through the roof, and it is just fabulous. Head-up display, the whole nine yards. Everything you could possibly want in a car is here, and then some with this fit and finish. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments if you're fortunate enough to be able to afford to buy a super grand tour like this Bentley Continental GT Speed is this the kind of action you would go with is this what you want to be seen going down the road in let me know in the comments but I want to thank Bentley Palmyra for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Bentley Continental GT Speed for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.